So here we are for shelf three, part three. Got a little buddy Lucy here hanging out with us, making sure I do a good job. So let's uh let's flip this bad boy over here. Shelf three. Let's get to it. Uh the circle of life. Actually, that's a little that book's a little big, so let's move this camera back a little further. There we go. The circle of life. Wildlife on the African savannah. It's a uh, Anup and Mandoz Shah. It's got a lot of cool pictures. It's mainly a picture book. Like, look at that. That's striking. Isn't that cool? Isn't that pretty? Don't you like that? I think it's cool. Just about life on the savannah. It's pretty cool. Make a great coffee table book. But uh, if you have dogs, you probably don't leave a lot of books out on the coffee table, I'm sure. Elephants. One of my absolute favorite animals in the entire world. Just a big old book, heavy book about elephants. A former co-worker and friend of mine gave me this book. Let's turn it this way. Yeah, it looks better. You don't want to look down my hallway. It is on Napoleon Bonaparte. Basically his campaigns between 1813 and 1815 by James Lawford. It's got some pretty cool info on there. It's a good book. Here you go. Here's something really exciting. Excellence in customer service. Specifically, that is excellence in customer service for cable providers. Broadband digital installer. Ho oh, ho. Now we're getting into really cool stuff there. That's super dry info. I got a bunch of books here that I found that used to be my mom's. She's a hippie, so we got Privacy in a Fishbowl, Spiral to Economic Disaster Volume 2, Lifeboat Measures If You Act Now. These are by uh, Gayorgos series, Haton. It's a Phoenix Journal stuff. Uh, Satan's Drummers, The Secret Beat of Evil. Satan is Alive and Well. Blah, blah, blah. Have never read those. Actually, I've never even read one page out of these. The Sapapu Odyssey, whatever that is. She had these back in the 80s. What else have we got? UFOs, A Scientific Debate by Carl Sagan. That's a pretty good book here. That's older book though. Old information. Ernest Hemingway, we got another one. The Old Man in the Sea. I've only read that once. Uh, Ideas of the Great Philosophers. Eh, this book's okay. It's not that great. But it's not bad. Good little thing to get your noggin working. Lost Legends by Bill Martin. It's just got some cool stuff in it, some legends and whatnot. Yeah, it's all right. Not bad. That was a gift from someone. Here you go. This may interest some of you. The Warrior Ethos and Soldier Combat Skills book. This is a uh, January 2008 edition. Uh, manual FM 3-21.75. It's cool. It's got a lot of great information in this book. From mass casualties, not mass casualties, but from triaging on the field, things of that sort. My wife, when she was in San Diego, San Diego, is that right? No, Santa Barbara. She got to go to Nobu and eat at Nobu, which is awesome. She said the food was great, so I bought her this book. And uh, it's a cookbook. I have yet to actually cook anything in it. <laughs> but I'm really, it's, man, the recipes in there are awesome. Stephen Ambrose, Citizen Soldier. If you haven't read this book, you really need to. It's a great, great book. Stephen Am Ambrose is a great writer as well. Normandy, D-Day. A book I've had for many, many years... And I've read a couple of times. It is excellent. A People's History of the United States by Howard Zinn. How accurate is it? I'm sure it's pretty accurate. I'm sure it's not 100%, but what history is? It's hard to tell, you know? Because a lot of history, throughout history, is made by the victors. And they're not going to necessarily portray history in a negative light to them. That's why a lot of history you learn in school is not correct. And you're spoon-fed a bunch of bullshit. Really good book. Really gets your noggin working. Definitely say this is one book that should be on everybody's reading list.
at least once, even if you just almost said rent it. Even if you go get it from the library, if your library carries it. Uh, we got a book, if you will, of photos. I'm not going to look through that, don't worry. A small book on Chinese cooking. I've only made one recipe out of this little doohickey. Yeah, they're decent recipes. I mean, it's Chinese food. Uh, emotional fitness for couples. If you're married or in a serious relationship, or if you want to be in one, you should probably read something along these lines. Could help you out. Oh no, I've had this since I was in high school, I think. Is that right? When did this come out? No, it was before high school. This one came out in 85. It's just a book about knots. Basic book, and it has cutouts on here for like the box knot, things like that. So you can actually tie it into the book, which is cool. Really good book. And it comes with some, some paracord. Mr. Charlie's Chopsticks by Dawes Portwood Evans. I don't remember why I have this book. I've had it for a long time. Don't even know why I still have it. Uh, CDs. Yeah. Got a lot of CDs still. Do you guys still have CDs? Do you guys still have CDs on your shelves, if you will? Let's move down a little further and make this easier. Because I got a bunch of CDs that I never really listened to. And I just don't listen to them much anymore. This is cool. Seeing a theme here, aren't you? Pro Knot. Here's your bowling. It's just uh, note cards, if you will. Or I guess you could call them knot cards. Different types of knots. Basics of how to tie them. Pretty cool. Um, Knickknacks. Don't need to see that. Oh, here you go. You guys want to see something really dorky? This is dusty, too. Oh, no. <laughs> Look at that cheese ball. Boot camp picture. Looks so young there. Looks so, so young. Uh, I've shown this a couple times. You know, I haven't really done too much in here lately. Oh, wait, I have done something. I'm going to show you stuff about that at some point. Once I put it, a couple more labels in there. They're beer la labels. I decided to start storing my beer labels in there. That's the last shelf. Not really much to it. Here's some trash. This... Ooh, I'm getting caught up with the tripod. Sorry there. Right here. That's a 2013 Pause for a Cause dog show top dog. You've seen him on camera a couple times. He's the black and white one. His name is Bacchus. He got the top dog prize. And that same one, first place for most handsome. Well, you don't believe me? Check it out. Top dog. Bacchus Premier Magazine. There he is. There's my buddy. He's getting really old though. Sad. Concealed Carry Magazine. Blah, blah, blah. Sardines. Mmm. Betadine? Who doesn't have Betadine sitting on their shelf? And I actually got a new book. It just came in yesterday. I saw the Haas UMC's video on it. He had the guy there. He did a quick little like 11 minute interview with him about this book. Recipient of the Silver Star, Dillard Johnson and James Tarr. That's with two R's. Carnivore. That was actually the name of his vehicle was Carnivore. Everyone named their vehicle and it had to start with the letter C apparently. Uh, one of the deadliest American soldiers of all time, blah, blah, blah. There you go. Oh, got something sticky on there. Gross. If you want to read that, go ahead and hit pause. You can read it. I haven't read a single page in it yet. I just got it in yesterday. I'm excited to check it out, though. In case you're wondering, Dead Guy Ale by Rogue Brewing. That was pretty good, actually. I saved the bottle because I was thinking about trying to do make your own bottle glass out of it. Well, that's it, folks. There's my messy shelves of books. Did you see any books you liked? Thanks for watching. Have a good day.